Hi, this is Zachary from Thea Enterprises. Today I'm going to show you how to program a manual sequence using the Homeworks Designer software. In Homeworks, we have two different kinds of sequences, manual and automatic. A manual sequence moves through a series of steps defined by the programmer. We move through those steps by performing an input action, like pressing the button on a keypad. Manual sequences can be used to reduce the number of buttons required on a keypad which leads to a cleaner overall aesthetic and an improved end-user experience. A typical example of a manual sequence is cycling through the speeds of a ceiling fan, as shown here. Manual sequences can also be used to change the color of a lighting zone from a single keypad button. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a catcher lighting zone from a single keypad button press, as shown here. Keep in mind this same technique can also be used to change saturated colors using a DMX controller. We can also cycle through various color temperatures of white light using Ketra, Ecosystem, Dolly, or even 0 to 10 volt solutions. To begin, use the Program drop down menu and navigate to Define Sequences. Next, click Add Sequence. Change the sequence type to manual sequence and name the sequence. I'm going to name our sequence living room accent color just to keep track of things. In this example our sequence is going to have five steps because we are going to cycle through five saturated colors. To add steps, simply click the plus icon. Then we are going to make sure the names of each step match the desired outputs. Another benefit of sequences is that we can define different LED logics for each step, including blink and rapid blink. In this example, I'm going to ignore this option because I don't need to highlight any of the steps using this LED logic. In a ceiling fan speed sequence, if I wanted the keypad LED to blink when the fan speed was set to high, I would define that logic here. Next, I will select the correct catcher content for each sequence step. The last step is to attach the sequence to a button press. Use the Program drop-down menu to select Program Devices. Highlight the desired keypad button. Then find Sequences in the Show All menu. Select the sequence we just created and then stick with the default setting of sequence start slash next. We will cover the different sequence setting options in later videos in this series. Next, we need to make sure our button type is set to single action. And last but not least, we need to select an appropriate LED logic. We will utilize the defined by sequence LED logic in the automatic sequence video. But for this example, we just want to select Momentary On when pressed. This will prevent the LED from just being stuck on or constantly blinking. It will, however, still give the user visual feedback that the system recognized their command. One important thing to note about manual sequences is that they will pick up where they left off. 
For example, if I cycle through the colors with this button, the sequence will go red, green, blue. Then, if I press the room off button, the sequence does not reset. The next time I press the accent color button, it will pick up with purple because that is the next color in the sequence. In our example, that may be acceptable or even desired. However, there are other applications where you might want the sequence to always start with the first step. Selecting red or sequence step one here will not resolve this. Making this selection will set the color to red, but then the sequence will not continue to advance with subsequent button presses. If you want to learn how to reset a sequence, please watch our other how-to video on advanced sequences. Thanks for watching.